it is time for our Thanksgiving turkey video. I've been waiting all year for this. I've made a lot of improvements. And we're also gonna start today by brining this turkey. Now last year I did it in a garbage bag um, and I used Cosmos Q turkey brine. I'm using it again this year. I really think it's that good. But that was kind of a hassle with the bag. So I went out and I bought this container here. You could do up to a 25 pound turkey, four whole chickens, you could see the rest there. My turkey's 13 and a half pounds, so there's no problem. And inside this bucket, I already have two gallons of cold water. And to that, I'm gonna dump in this whole bag of the turkey brine. Now the instructions here say one gallon per one cup of the brine. I know from doing this previously that I need to use two cups of brine, so it's two gallons of water, two cups of brine. And then it says you wanna brine it for an hour per pound. So for my turkey, 13 and a half hours. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this straight down and in, just like that. That's what I love about this. Not only does it make the turkey taste unbelievable, it's really easy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and whisk it up, make sure it gets dissolved really good. It's important that you're using cold water here, not warm water, not hot water, because you don't wanna start the cooking process on that bird. So nice and cold, it dissolves really good. And now for our turkey. So let me spin this around so you can see. What I'm gonna do is pull out this uh, little thermometer in here. This isn't gonna do us any good. And then I'm also gonna remove the leg holders. I just don't want, uh, I've kept it in in the past and it's safe to do so. But this year I'm taking it out. Grab this guy and drop him in the bucket. And you'll see these notches in the bucket. What you do is they give you this little plastic piece. You push it down until that turkey is submerged and then you turn it and it locks it in. This way we don't have to worry about flipping the turkey overnight or every couple hours. That bird is fully submerged now. It'll sit in the refrigerator for 13 hours. It's as easy as that. It's simple to clean up. All right, it's the next day. Let's talk turkey. So first of all, it's raining. So I'm actually in my garage and it's kind of important. I want to show you how I set this up just in case you run into the same situation. I've got my smoker just right on the edge of the garage and then I've got a little side door here that's open so any smoke that comes up isn't going to choke us out in here. It's actually going to go straight out through there. It keeps my smoker dry and I've got my smoker set today to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. I love 275 degrees for turkey. It's the right amount of smoke and it's just hot enough to help crisp up that skin a little bit. So 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me pop this door open and voila, what do we have here? So I'm hanging my turkey today. This is a turkey hanger and I'll have links to everything below if you want to check it out. Very top, I've got a rack set up so I have something to hang the turkey from. I've got a water pan that's halfway full of water. I've got a rack right above that, one position above. I've got a foil turkey pan here to catch any drippings, keep my smoker nice and clean. And I did wash this hook off and then I let it kind of heat off in the, in the cooker here to just burn off anything that might be on it. So we're gonna get this out. Let's get this door closed and get over to the turkey. And the way we got here is I let this brine for about, I think I actually went about 16 hours. Then I dumped out all the brine rinsed off the turkey really well if you don't rinse it off good it's going to be overly salty so i rinsed the inside and out then i patted it dry with paper towels and then i put it on the cookie sheet in the refrigerator on top of a bunch of paper towels wrapped in a paper towel and with a little bit of saran wrap over top and i let it sit in the refrigerator like that for about another eight hours what happens when you do that is this skin will really dry out and so right now, if I touch it, it's, it's kind of tacky, which is gonna help us get a crispier skin than we would if we were to just put it straight in the smoker. And I'll just slide this guy over for a moment. And now to season up my turkey, those of you who have seen me smoke turkeys before, I use mayonnaise as a binder. You could use mustard, you could use butter, you could use olive oil. And I know a lot of you tried the mayonnaise last year and loved it. The reason I really like it is it kind of helps baste the turkey while it smokes. I don't have to go in and brush it with butter constantly uh, just because it's so thick. 
it takes a while for that to dry up. And so what I'm gonna do is start here with about a half a cup, roughly. And that brine had a ton of seasoning in it. It went all the way down, it got under the skin, it made its way down into the meat. And so we don't have to go crazy here with seasoning. Use whatever you want. But I've been experimenting around and this Heath Riles pecan rub is unbelievable on turkey, especially on the skin. And that's really all we're seasoning here today with this is the skin. It's gonna give it some nice color and some nice flavor. So I've got the mayo. And I'm gonna start with about, oh, I don't know, two tablespoons of the rub. And I'm gonna mix it into the mayo. You could rub this on the bird and then shake it onto the bird. But again, what I found is if I do that, then I'm gonna pick this thing up and handle it. And then my seasoning gets kind of pushed around to the sides and it's not so even. And so this way, if I do it into the mayo and I rub it on there, it doesn't matter if I touch it afterwards it's all gonna still be in the mayonnaise and perfectly seasoned on the outside. And for a little added pop of flavor, I'm going to grate two small cloves of garlic into this. You want a nice fine grate. I don't like the prepared stuff uh, for this. It's great for other things, but I wouldn't do that here. And then go ahead and mix that in. And it's time to put some uh, suntan lotion here on the bird. And it's just simple. I mean, rub it everywhere you can. I'm not gonna go under the skin. I, like I said, I really don't think you need to. That brine got down and in there. I'm just gonna go for a nice, even coat all over. The legs, the thighs, and then I will put some on the inside as well. All right, so now what we're gonna do is take our turkey hanger and we're gonna get it through here, pull it through. Get it nice and snug on there. Let me turn this so you can see it. Then I'm gonna take the wings and I'm gonna tuck those back just to help prevent them from burning and drying out in there. So we got those tucked in. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie these legs up. I could have left that plastic uh, leg holder piece in there, but no big deal to do this. Just tie a knot in this leg. And we'll bring them together. This is just gonna help keep everything nice and tight. Keep the legs from drying out too much. Huh, not bad. So there we go. Let's go hang this and smoke a turkey. Just come on around. Move quick, because we're in the rain. And what I'm gonna do is get it right up on this crossbar in the center to support all that weight. And I'm gonna have the breast meat facing out. I may come out halfway and spin it, but I do know that the back gets a little hotter. This is the presentation side, so if that back does get a little crispy for some reason, it's no big deal, nobody will ever see it. So I'm gonna drape my temp probe cord over there. We'll plug that in later. And I must admit, that's pretty awesome looking. So it's just gonna hang there. We're gonna get this door closed. And I'm gonna get this plugged in and turned on here. So my ink bird, this is at 45 degrees Fahrenheit right now. And we wanna take this up. I'm monitoring the, the breast. I wanna take that up to about 162. Once it gets there, if the skin is crispy enough and looks good how we want it, we'll take it out and let it rest. That'll get us a little carryover to 165 and it'll be the juiciest turkey you've ever had in your life. So not much to do. I'm gonna come back in about two hours. I expect this to take four hours and uh, we'll come back and see what the temperature is, make sure we're on track. But in the meantime, I just have a tiny mess to clean up. I'm just gonna chill in the garage. All the chaos is going on in the house. You're out here with the turkey. Uncle Larry wants to hang out, you know, have a good time. And most of those sides we've already cooked up. You saw the stuffing. So we'll be back in uh, about two hours, see how it's doing. I can't wait. Okay, we are at 124 degrees Fahrenheit or 51 degrees Celsius. It's been exactly two hours. 
And so we are on good track here. I'm gonna put this back and we'll get the door opened. Just as we're full of smoke, of course, for the drama. Let's see how it's looking. Oh yeah. That looks really good. I'm liking that color. The skin is still very moist, so that mayo is doing its job. And just out of curiosity, I'm gonna get a look at this backside. It's looking about the same, but I do think I'm gonna rotate it so I just get a better handle on it. And yeah, so that's about it. I mean, I don't have to spritz it or anything. We're just gonna let it go like that and I'll come back just before it's done so we can take one more look at it and then let it rest. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, so we just hit the four hour mark. I'm at 149, 150 degrees Fahrenheit or 65 degrees Celsius. And we're getting close. Remember I wanted to get it up to 162-ish in the breast. So what I'm gonna do is just pop this door open real quick. Let you get a look. Now just before I turned the camera on, I flipped it back around so I didn't have to put my back in front of the camera, but that's looking really, really good. I couldn't be any happier with that color right now, but the skin uh, needs to crisp up a little. And so we have this 10, 12 degree window to do this. So what I'm gonna do is bump my temperature up now from 275 to 350. And we're gonna let it go until it hits our target temperature. Then we're gonna shut it down and get out of here. That should crisp this up, get us right where we want to be. So let me turn this up to 350. And we'll come back when it's ready to go. All right, we did it. I hung a turkey in the pellet smoker. I've never seen it done before. I actually think it was a really good idea. The airflow uh, coming up and around and getting in the cavity really cooked this thing even. I mean, it looks really good. Let you see the color there on both sides. And so I'm not gonna carve this whole thing in front of you, just a little piece. I've got people inside waiting uh, that don't want this to get cold. So let me cut a little piece and see how it looks. Let's cut a little piece of the breast. Get a couple of those going. God, it smells good. Wow. while I cut this it was uh, almost five hours total cook time and rest time so a little bit longer than I thought but that's okay good skin it's not crispy crispy but it definitely has a little bit of a crisp to it so it'll have a nice bite through juicy a little tiny bit of a smoke ring it smells really smoky though that's for sure here we go That is awesome.